Creating and managing purchase orders in Dynamics CP is really quite easy. Let's take a look at it. We'll enter our purchase order. We'll run an expediting report. We'll receive the PO, and then we'll apply the vendor's invoice to that receipt. So let's get started. So let's start at the purchasing area page. We'll open up a purchase order. Go to the purchase order entry screen here, and we'll enter just a standard purchase order. Look up a vendor. Enter the line item that we want. We can pick an item from inventory or we can have a non-inventoried item. So for the first line, we'll pick an inventory item here. Put the quantity in. And we'll enter the purchase amount. We always have to put a site in here. This is an inventory site ID. We'll put that in. So that's the first line. That shows an inventory item. Now let's put a non-inventory item in. We'll enter a quantity. And a unit cost. So now I've got two lines in my purchase order. I've got an inventory item and a non-inventory item. So if I want to, I can print that out. I can even email it to my vendor if I want to. So we're just going to save this. So the next thing we'll do is we'll look at our outstanding POs and when we expect to get them. We're looking at expediting report here. And that's available under purchasing area page and also reports. We'll go to analysis here. Open up the expected shipments report, just move that over, print it out. And this is a purchasing report that shows you all the open POs and when they're expected to come in and any quantities may have been shipped or received so far. So next we'll receive that PO. So let's go back to the purchase order. Here's the purchase order right here. We can receive right off this form. So we'll just go to actions, receive the PO items. This is a little wizard that comes up that helps you create that receiving document. So here we want to record the actual shipment. So if we receive something short here, we can indicate that here on this wizard. And we'll hit receive. And this is the receiving transaction. It will add to inventory and add the office supplies to the appropriate account and also create an uninvoiced receipt. So let's just post that right now. And the last thing we want to do is match the vendor's invoice to that receipt when it comes in. So let's go back to the purchasing area page and go to enter match invoices. We'll enter the vendor's invoice number, look up the vendor, and then we can click on auto invoice. And that'll show us all open receipts. We can mark all here. This will create the invoice that will be updated to accounts payable. And here's the payables invoice right now. So as soon as I post this, this is going to update accounts payable. It's going to relieve the uninvoiced receipts and do all the general ledger transactions behind it. So entering and managing purchase orders in Dynamics GP is really quite easy to do.